so we have two projects going on right now. I didn't know if this would work, so I went ahead and did it off camera. But my lathe, it was so good for cutting this down. First off, we're making a little plug that fits in the hole on the table of my drill press. So whenever I drill my mallet heads, I can only go down like two thirds of the way. Well, give me a second. This might have dried. I can only go down about two thirds of the way, so I have to flip it and I hope it lines up. Well, if I just put that on there, it should line up. And so this is like a plug that this will sit on to align it. And I've made it to where it fits well enough, although if this is shrunken, it might be a bad fit. Either way, I adjusted my cutter, and so this is actually slightly conical, so it gets smaller. It should be going this way. On this side, we're going to be cutting the indentation for it to sit into my drill press. So, that'll be good. And then, with this piece, I want to make a tool so I can push um, cloth into the back of this mask that I'm making, that I hand carved, and then I can glue it up properly with, with proper um, tension. You know what? I think I can get away with just not having that on there. We can see how it does. I'm going to add a bevel on this side and I'll compress the rest of it. that. Oh, perfect. A little bit tight, but this casting is rough, so I have to hit it 
hit it down. Okay, so then that crunched it in. And uh, it's a nice solid piece. mess. Oh, perfect. God, it worked. Come on. <laughs> oh my God, that worked perfectly. Look how, wow. I think that's probably lined up enough for me. You can feel the difference, but remember this is an inexact hole for a handle to go through. So that's now made it a lot easier to build the mallets. Oh, it's the same size. <laughs> well, look at that. That'll take a while to come down. I probably don't need this, but it's good to have it. This one, I think I'll go with the finer saw. And that's how you dull blades. Oh well. That's firewood. $200 
120 grit. It worked a little bit, but it did work. I'll have to work on a better a better glue, but oh well. For now, hot glue is less permanent. So perfect. It's amazing what a, a purpose-built and well-built tool can do. But wait, there's more. I can use this to hold the cloth while I cut it. So that should be helpful too. Note to self, buy a scalpel because that was just too big to get in there. But that worked. And it had a second purpose that I didn't even realize until I needed it. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya. I am really happy with how this cloth went on this mask. Although, whenever I make more, I'll need to work on the cutting method. Mm-hmm.